Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. Today I'll be showing you a solution to fix no bootable device issue during port from an external device boot device. Previously we have made two tutorials on no bootable device issue before. They are available some basic and advanced solution. If you want, you can check out our previous tutorial link in the description below. So let's get started. At first, press Ctrl Alt and Delete key combination to restart your computer. And Go to BIOS, My BIOS key is F2. Check your device manufacturer information for the BIOS key. Next, go to BIOS security tab. Note, if the secure boot options are grayed out in BIOS, then at first you have to set supervisor password or administrator password. Alright, now just follow me to do that. Select set supervisor password option and press enter. Now type your new password in this first bank and press enter. Next, retype your password and press enter to confirm. Now find and enable the secure boot option. Ok, now as you can see, all the secure boot options are now available. After that, select the option, select an UEFI file as trusted for executing and press enter. Now select your USB which is your boot device and press enter. Select EFI and press enter. After that select boot and press enter. Now select bootx64.efi and press enter. Now type external boot device as boot description. and press enter and again press enter to confirm ok now if you want you can disable your by supervisor password or administrator password alright now go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from bios now again go to bios next go to boot tab after that, select your created A5 boot entry. Now move your USB boot device upward of the list to set as primary boot priority order. Once done, go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Ok, now your PC will be reboot. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved.
all right as you can see the boot was successful from the external boot device and note this procedure will only work on secure boot enable ufi system however if you want to erase all the secure boot settings then just follow me At first go to BIOS Next go to Wire Security menu. Now select it as all secure boot settings and press enter and again press enter to confirm. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. Of course let us know your opinion. If you have any question then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.